All right, guys, so now we're going to start working on the profile stuff. And before we can create any routes and, and interact with the database, we need to create a model for our profile. So in the models folder, let's create a file, uppercase P, profile.js. And this is going to be structured just like the user model, except there's a bunch of more fields. So let's do const mongoose. Uh, I'm going to set that equal to require mongoose. And we want to create a profile schema, just like we created a user schema. And we do that by saying equals new mongoose dot schema. And then we pass in an object with all the fields. Now, we want to create a reference to the user model, okay? because every profile should be associated with a user. So let's go ahead and add user. But for the type, we're going to put kind of a special um, field type in here, which is going to be an object ID. So mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID. So we're going to connect it to uh, an, uh, an ID, which is in this in the user model. Uh, well, the ID isn't isn't shown here, but you saw when we create a, a new user, it has this underscore ID field. That's what I'm talking about. And we just want to add um, a reference or ref to the model we're talking about here, which is the user model. All right. Now there's going to be a ton of fields in uh, in our profile model. So I'm going to paste some in just uh, little by little, just so you can copy the text or whatever you want to do. Um, you can also copy it from the repository, but I'll just talk about each field. So let me paste some in. So underneath our user, we have a company, which is a string. All these are strings website location. This is all stuff that's going to go on the profile status, which is required. And what I mean by status is, um, I guess, you know, developer, senior developer, junior developer, instructor, student, things like that. And it'll be a drop down that they can choose from. And then skills is going to be an array of strings. That's why there's a there's brackets around this. And this is also required because this uh, it has to show on the profile and the way that they'll enter skills in the UI in react is a comma separated value list. Okay, so they'll do like PHP comma JavaScript comma whatever. And then we're going to use JavaScript to, to turn it into a, uh, an array and put it in our database. All right, then we have a bio, which is just a string GitHub username. They'll be able to put their GitHub username if they want to show their latest repositories. So we'll be working a little bit with the GitHub API. All right. Now they're going to be able to add experiences on the, in their profile. Okay, so I'm going to paste in a field called experience, which is an array of other fields. So you can see we have a title, a company. And this is like their past jobs or even their current job location, the from date, the to date current, which is a Boolean. So if they currently work there, we'll have a checkbox for them to check off. And in the UI, if they check the current checkbox, they'll it'll disable the to field because obviously they still work there. So we'll do stuff like that within React and then a description. All right. In addition to experience, they're also going to be able to add education. So basically college or boot camp or whatever. So I'm going to paste in another array called education with school degree field of study from to current and description. So a lot of the same fields that experience has. All right. And then underneath that, we're going to have some social uh, social media links. So we want to go under right here. And paste in social, which is an object of other ob of other um, fields. Okay, so YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So these will all be their their links to their social media pages. And then finally, we'll just have the date. So we'll go ahead and paste that in, and it'll just put in the current date. So quite a few fields, just to kind of go over them again: user, company, website, location, and location could be like city, or it's just going to be a text field. Status, skills, bio, GitHub username, experience, which is an array. Education is an array. Social, which is an object with um, all their social media links and then the date. Okay, so that's the profile fields. Now we have to export this. So module dot exports equals profile equals mongoose dot model and put in here profile and then our profile schema. 
and that's it. So now we should be able to bring this profile model into our profile routes and query the database, uh, you know, get profiles, um, create them, update, delete, all that stuff. All right, so we'll get into our routes in the next video.